Good morning, Dirty afternoon, Yoshi and now. evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dodo Yoshi, joined here today by Bloodlock. Bloodlock, how are you? I'm pretty good, how are you? I am fantastic. A week and a bit to go, and then we have TI3. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be absolutely and fantastic. It's, and next week, yeah, really? next week TI3. This weekend, we also have the Steel Series Oceanic Cup Season 1. Australia, New Zealand's going to the Premier League, basically, for us. I definitely can't wait to watch that. I mean, it's going to be, it's different, especially for the Oceanic region. We haven't had something to even go into the Dota 2 client yet, and now that's coming along. It should be very fun to watch. Yeah, and we have common bands, and actually Visage being one of the important first bands for Birds, 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 not wanting that aggressiveness and the damage coming from the Visage and the Batrider and the Nakes. Common first bands, FYC, playing it safe. Mm. And speaking of the teams, we do have, this will be a Cyber Gamer match for all of you out there wondering, Birds, 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 formerly known as Ascension Esports, they are ranked 8th, being challenged by For Your Colours, they are ranked 15th, so both teams are doing fairly well on the ladder, they're up there, For Your Colours, they're currently on a 3 win streak, they've won 7 games, they've lost 5, they're up against Birds, 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 who have the experience on the ladder, they've won 17 and lost 15, so we'll see if all your colors can move into the top 10 after this. Hopefully they will be able to, I mean, um, just judging from what I've seen in the past and scrimming with four your colors, they've shown a lot of improvement over the last few weeks, uh, so hopefully they'll be able to take this game and get into the top 10. Mm, they definitely have been improving, over, they've been pretty steady improvement over all of their games. I mean, I remember watching some of their earlier games, they were a little bit iffy, they were shaky in all different areas, they were trying to force things where they shouldn't. They still have that little issue where they force situations when they're starting to get a little bit out of hand, when things are getting shaken up on their side and it's not into their style of play. They'll start to try and force issues and then things can come undone. So hopefully they can keep their cool and pull about a win in this game. They would be quite happy about that. And we have Birds, Birds, Birds. They're picking up Alchemist as their first pick. Um, could be a carry, but as we've seen in the last, the last week with the uh, the troll Navi game against uh, Kai P, where we had Puppy going as support Alchemist, anything's possible. <laughs> Please, you have a stun on support Alchemist. What else do you need? And we see four of your colors. They're picking up. One of the most devastating combinations in laning, Jaws, Shadow Demon, and Lena. They've got fantastic roaming potential, they can lock down lanes. Once that disruption goes off, you are almost absolute guaranteed death right then and there. So we'll see if For Your Colors will be pulling out the aggression. I would be expecting their tri lane to be going down bottom, trying to put as much harassment onto the opposing Alchemist if the Alchemist does decide to go carry. They're definitely good picks, but uh, it's a bit questionable uh, picking up the combo uh, straight off the bat, wanting to secure it. And I understand that they wanted to secure it, but this allows Birds 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 really to just ban out all the uh, carries and the possible mids that FYC could be going. Mm, I um, agree with you there. So possibly could be their downfall in terms of the drafting phase, but uh, definitely will get a good uh, combination with that Shadow Demon and Lena. And we have the Prophet picked up for the Birds Birds Birds. This could be a uh, pretty uh, common offlane Prophet. Mm. And I, I, I agree with you there. I mean, picking up your support early on, that can be both fantastic but detrimental at the same time. As you said, they will start banning out those aggressive carry potential heroes and their mid lane, like the OD, one of the best mid lane heroes in the game, just got taken out. They've, Birds 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 have already bent out more supports, so I think for your colors they didn't want to be limited down to support, so they pull out their supports first, and then limit Birds 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 in that supports department, so it's going to make their picking of their supports a little bit harder, I mean they've still got a Jakira in the pool, one of the fantastic heroes, there's still a Coddle if you decide to go that route, there's a Rubik, there's a Bane, so they still have plenty of options, but if for your colors decide to take out some of these heroes, such as either the Rubik, and that uh, the Jakira, things could get a little bit strict and hard for Birds 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 to go down that support route. And even if FYC do end up banning a lot of those uh, support heroes that you were talking about, Alchemist and Prophet both have the potential to go mid in case uh, they do ban out a mid or a support that Birds 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 really want, uh, which would open up uh, some other options for them as well. Mm. And speaking of oh, that, I haven't mid seen a mid Prophet in a while. 
<laughs> I think, yeah, he's more seen in the off lane than mid. I think the last time I saw a mid prophet was against the lone druid, and I just couldn't wonder why there was those two heroes in that mid. It was, it was a strange matchup. And we see that Vengeful being taken out and that Darkseid. So Darkseid does get that taken out just before the next picking phase. Probably would have seen him being picked up for... I would say for your colors if that could, did not get banned out then as he is one of the strongest if not the strongest offlane hero in the game. And Vengeful Spirit, a very uncommonly picked hero. It seems to be one of those heroes that gets forgotten about, especially with uh, alongside those uh, Doom which recently has come back into it. Uh, but is very strong, has that bonus damage for when lanes need to be pushed and also the really uh, good stun and armor debuff that goes along with it. And the Nyx Assassin being Another ban for FYC, what, not wanting that carapace to uh, uh, annoy the Lena and the stun and gank potential from Nyx as well, wanting to get rid of that. Mm. I'm looking to see what Fluid calls how they would want to pick up the next few heroes and how they want to take this game. If they want to take this mid game with a lot of early game and mid game aggression as you have that Shadow Demon Lena, or if they want to try and take this late game and go one for one against this Alchemist and Nature's Prophet. Because Nature's Prophet has a lot of split push, so if you can, if you start five manning up, Nature's Prophet will jump around the map and push those towers and force you to get back to those bases. And they do pick up a Luna and she's really good in this early mid game. Once she has that her Eclipse up and running, she can pretty much solo heroes by herself because it does a lot of damage. So I'd like to see a lot of early aggression coming out by four year colors. And Luna is a really good pick as well because they're wanting they're they're looking at this Prophet and this Alchemist and they're seeing uh although Alchemist doesn't have as much push, uh Prophet really does have a lot of pushing potential and global power as well. And Luna really seconds, in the late uh, mid to late game really counters uh the push that Prophet uh, can remaining. bring. Mm. So we will see how who birds 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 will pick up as their support. They still, and they will, however, pick their mid in that storm spirit, storm spirit, and that nature's prophet. Those two are going to have a lot of ganking potential. Storm spirit and comes zipping the, in. The you have nature's FYC. prophet. He TP's in with you, and you have two heroes right there, and they're out of absolutely nowhere. So, and as you said, the puck is now just being picked up by four your colors. Puck would probably. Be the best, or well, one of the top three heroes in that mid role. The only other two heroes that really compare and can compete against the puck is that both the OD and that Queen of Pain. There's not too many other heroes that go up against those three heroes. A little bit restricted in that mid role these days, with those three heroes being pretty much predominantly strongest. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, looking. I'm looking forward to seeing this matchup with Storm Spirit and the puck. I'm. Kind of leaning towards the Storm Spirit, uh, although Puck is a very strong mid, but it really depends on uh, how well the runes are controlled. Because the Storm Spirit gets those runes, and Puck's just going to drop like that. Mm. Then again, Puck has extremely great escape mechanisms in that phase shift and being able to uh, get out of there with his orb. Then he's also got a silence of Storm Spirit zips in. You get the silence while he's midway through his zip or when he lands, and then Storm Spirit's basically gonna become a passive ball of fat for the next three or four <laughs> seconds. That's a very accurate description. <laughs> <laughs> passive ball of fat. They're just waiting on birds, birds, birds. They're chewing up into their reserve time here. Wondering what support combo they're gonna bring up to the table. Mm. I wouldn't be too surprised if we do see a Jakira and Lushrak. Both of them both bring in very strong pushing potentials. I mean, Lestrak's Edict, it will chew through towers. Tier 1, Tier 2, they'll be gone within a few seconds with just Edict alone. And then if you have your Jai, uh, not Jaikraft, you have your Jakira along with that. His Liquid Fire burns down those towers, helps push those waves with the Jewel Breath. And they can just eat through these towers quite quick and keep Foyer Colors starved on map position and vision if they can keep uh, Foyer Colors that close. I was Radiance about to say, they're to running out of time, they had two seconds left on the clock, and they do pick up the cure. <laughs> two seconds more than enough. More than enough time, that's ages. It's like real men don't look at explosions. Although it would have definitely been interesting to see if they actually did run down the clock and see what random hero the game picks for them. <laughs> uh, I think... I don't know, if they'd got another carry, it would have been very hard for- Oh, they could have just rotated the Alchemist into that support, they would have been fine. They ban- Fourier Colors ban out the Rubik. Pretty safe, standard ban. 
uh, considering birds 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 need another uh, support and they don't want that Laguna blade going towards birds birds birds. Mm. Pretty much anything on the side of uh, for your colors would be a very strong pickup. You mean grab the Shadow Demon's Purge, he's disruption or anything. And we've seen Invoker. Invoker for Anaboss. Yep, and Anaboss loves I his Invoker. I thought we'd seen enough Invoker, but apparently not. <laughs> It's going to be a little strange where they're going to run their Puck and Invoker. Is Puck going to be the off lane or... No, actually, Invoker, Invoker will be the safe lane. lane. Yeah, no, Invoker will be the safe. You'll run the aggressive tri lane of your Luna, Lena, and Shadow Demon, and then Puck will be in that mid. Keeper yeah, and Keeper of the Light. So, immediately wanting to bring as much push against that Luna as possible, shutting her down, making sure that she can't get into that mid game. Uh, it's going to be a good game. It'll be quite interesting to see these two clash together. And we'll see if Fulia Colors, if Fulia Colors can get an early advantage, get a few kills at the start, it will absolutely demolish Birds, Birds, Birds morale to push. Because if they lose a few heroes while they're trying to push, they will become defensive and then they will not use their team to their full potential. But um, let's get into the hero, into the teams. Fulia Colors, they will be having Anaboss, he'll be on that Invoker, he is the captain of Fulia Colors. You have Lizzie. We'll be going into mid with that Puck. You've got the Invoker. Oh, I've already introduced Invoker. Yes, Safina on that Luna. Gobbledock on that Shadow Demon. And finally, we have Ricardo on that Lena. And over on the side of uh, Birds, 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 we have Kiwi Bird on the mid Storm Spirit. Uh, we've got Dezu Cat on that Coddle. And joining him in the tri lane, we have Lyre Bird on the Carry Alchemist. We have. Illusion Jesus on the Jakiro, and we have Ast Mazang on the Prophet, <laughs> having fun with his Dag uh, Bar Courier there in, in uh, spawn. I absolutely love that Courier. It's so adorable and so happy. I, I got one myself. We have smoke from FYC. They were just they were just uh, out there outside the Roche pit. I think they were just checking. I'm not sure why. Mm, I mean, they were, they were checking the Roche pit. We have been seeing quite a few Roshans these days with uh, Nature's Prophet. Those uh, creeps being able to tank Roshan down to about probably two thirds HP, and you have some follow up damage come through onto that Roshan. But I, as you were pretty much implying, I don't think there was any chance of Birds, Birds, Birds going for an early Roshan. Even for yeah. your colors, I think they may have been hoping Birds, Birds were trying to come for an aggressive push into their jungle. But. Oh, apparently someone's aircon fell on their dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even yeah, like you were saying, I don't think it's possible that um, birds, birds, birds would have gone for a rush because those like, as a level one prophet, you only have two treants, and they really don't have a lot of tank capability that early on, and especially uh, not having uh, the bonus uh, buffs from. Heroes like Vengeful Spirit, Luna, not having uh, abilities like Shackle or having extra stuns to go onto the Rush, it wouldn't, it realistically wouldn't be possible. Mm. An illusion, Jesus. I've always thought of Jesus as a dragon myself, a two headed dragon. So, <laughs> look to see Jesus pull out some big players around here. And an instant is Invis Rune going the way of Birds vs. Birds. Shakira picks it up, so possibly gonna look for a first blood. It's gonna be a little nice. Birds, birds. You have Desukat, he's waiting on the wings, but Daylight Vision should have just revealed him. Puck may have just seen the Coddle walk through that lane there, but this Jakira, he is invisible. Is he gonna do it? No, they're just gonna to rotate top. They're gonna to go try against try, and you would suspect for your colors to have the better aggressive tri lane here, but up against an Alchemist and a Coddle, they'll keep bursting you down and just chipping away at your health. It's going to be very hard for Fulia Colors here, so it's going to be a and close try that they've just placed is not going to block that camp there. That is just a, a ward to see where they are, but there's not really not a lot of vision that's going to come from that ward. Mm. The questionable first ward placement, um, I think that was the Lena that placed that one. And I think the Jakira saw, may have saw them, they may have had vision when they placed that ward down. And they're going to get this double stack off. No, it won't actually. No. Maybe that ward does block it. It's an Maybe interesting it place. That's very interesting because that would be probably the most obvious spot to, you know, counter ward. Hmm. I, um, I thought the Jakira was going to come along and counter ward, but he's just going to go down to the bottom river. And I don't think he's going to get the ward either. Nah, he's not going to get the ward sneakily placed near to the secret shop mountain. It's unfortunate for Illusion Jesus. He's going to waste 
a hundred gold there on that sentry while it's going to do nothing, and he might get this one here shortly if he does decide to place it down. If he decides Come to on. place it down. Place the ward. Place the ward. <laughs> Scumbag cuddles. The Luminate comes flying through, does a little bit of damage onto Ricardo and Safina. They take just enough damage to be just absolutely annoying. It's going to be a little bit worrying for that Lena though, because he's only got one Tango left, and if he, if he keeps getting hit by those Illuminates, he's going to be forced out of lane, and that could cause troubles for the Shadow Demon and the Luna. Mm. They've spotted out the pool here. We're going to look to take it. Coddle's blast goes blast off and hits the Lena, so that's his last Tango gone. Stun coming out onto the Lena, and the Ice Path from the Jakira are going to pick up a First Blood. Good disruption by the Shadow Demon, and not able to pick up that First Blood. The very good counter initiation by that Shadow Demon, able to save the Lena, and the salve from the Luna goes onto the Lena. Man, Desu Cat's Illuminate, he hasn't missed one yet. He's hitting two and three man Illuminates. That's just, that's hurting for your colors. That consumable count's just going absolutely down. Ricardo, please, he's got zero net worth on him currently. And the stun's being channeled. On the Alchemist. He's going to throw it out. It's going to go onto Zafina. They're going to try and make something of this. We have the Illuminate being charged, but. No, he wasn't charging it. Never mind. That yeah. was the ice path. A little bit, little bit mana deficient there. He has about 5 mana off being able to ca cast out a Lumina. If he had enough mana, that could have been one dead Luna right there and first bud going the way. And Alchemist, he is leveling that stun up. He's doing a lot of damage with it. And then followed up from Illusion, Jesus' ice path. They're just, they're going to find a pick off very shortly if Boya Carlos oh, stay this aggressive. And we now have that Chakra Magic up on uh, Keeper of the Light. So, first blood going to be a little bit easier, able to get enough mana this time to pop an Illuminate to get that first blood. Mm. And to look a little bit elsewhere around that map, we have in that mid lane, Storm Spirit is doing quite well, since 16 for 4 against the Puck 12 for 2, so it's not a big disparity, only about 250 gold due to those 5 creeps, and Storm Spirit's going to have that early bottle. Puck does have his bottle as well, neither side has been going for those runes yet, I mean there is vision down bottom. For that haste rune, if Storm Spirit wishes to decide to go down and bottle that up and then try to be aggressive against an invoker who is kind of out of position, tanking up a little bit of creeps down the bottom lane. We see uh, Prophet being pushed out of lane by the invoker, is getting very low. So Anabas doing well down on bottom lane, and we actually have first blood on Puck in the middle. On behalf of storms everywhere. Well, we've missed the first blood. <laughs> Not <laughs> somewhere where I would have thought the first blood was gone off. They both look fairly even, and then out of nowhere, Storm Spirit comes out and, and then finds Storm the pick off. For some reason, checks the top, uh, even though it has vision of haste. <laughs> actually. That actually, the vision, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the vision actually just cuts off before the rune. Oh, that's disappointing. That ward, that ward that's there is a little bit too far to the left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Puck's gonna pick up that haste. Might see her come down and try to find a kill on this nature's prophet. No, she's gonna rotate back to mid. And Kiwi Bird, he's looking for some blood. Not gonna be able to find it. They're just gonna walk past each other like nothing's gonna happen. Radiance middle tower is under and attack. Kiwi Bird did have the upper hand there because he has that ward, so he was able to spot the puck and able to just walk around him. I'm still surprised. I mean, Kiwi Bird didn't even have his ult when he initiated it onto Lizzie and still found a kill, so I really wish we didn't miss that. <laughs> and we see a disruption coming out on top onto the Alchemist. The Lunate's been challenged. Nice light strike rate following up shortly after. Few more auto attacks. Can they find it? Do we have a Lucent Beam? Lucent Beam's up in 3, 2, 1. Look at Pop the. Nice oh, ice path come out by a Lucent Jesus. Jesus. And we see a turnaround. The Lunate's can find through and it will pick off the Shadow Demon. So, counter reaction coming out and they find a kill in that Shadow Demon. The ice path from Jesus. The ice path from Jesus. And out in mid lane, we have another initiation of the Puck, and Puck does get picked off. Storm Spirit jumps in, few auto attacks, and the orb just was not used at all. The pawb was actually not on cooldown on top lane, and once again, we have a dive onto the tower. We take a lot of damage. Alchemist does fall from the final auto attack of the tower. The gold will be split up between Ricardo and Safina. Sadly, that wasn't a kill for uh, Luna, so not quite as much gold as he was hoping for, but it was a kill. Hmm. And it's going to slow down that Alchemist a little bit more. And Alchemist, he does have full phase boots up and running. So 6 minutes phase boots. I'm a little bit surprised we didn't see an early uh, Midas. Because, I mean, that's 1,500 gold right there. Could have spent another half minute, have a Midas up and running at 6.5 minutes. And then your farm will just continue to skyrocket. Even if you're not trying, that Midas just helps you skyrocket. Invoker is hitting Nature's Prophet for about 80 damage per hit now. 
Um, so he's he's forcing Prophet to play incredibly defensive. Mm, he's going for that cold lane. snap and exhort wax. Uh, exhort exhort quas build with the cold snap. Ugh. And that's a very strong one-on-one -on -one fighting combination. You have the Sunstrike if you need to help out across the map. You have the Cold Snap if you're going to get helped and going to get support from another lane to come gank. Which, Puck, she, she hasn't been able to. She's been stuck in this mid. She's we been have Storm Spirit twice. using his Invis rune. He's going to look to go on the Puck at middle. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> He's waiting. He's eyeing him off. Here we go. We see Here the Revenant coming out. Puck, few auto attacks. And pucks out. And gets out. Good plays by Puck. Illuminate once again at top lane, hitting on three heroes. This Desert Cat playing fantastic coddle, doing a lot of damage, and just keeping the entire side of four your colors low. And this is how they've been able to get these turnarounds. Desert Cat constantly doing damage. We see another ward coming down. They should have spotted that out. And then we see an ice puff. It's going to land onto one. Disruption comes out. We've got a stun being channeled by Aquas. Aquas is getting ready. Pops off the sh kills the Shadow Demon. Illusion Jesus is going to get out with little health. Alchemist will come down, kill, get another kill. Sunstrike's being popped. It's going to miss onto that Jakira. And in mid lane, we have Storm Street at the same time picking off that puck. So kills all over the ma uh, map, going all in favour of birds, birds, birds. A lot going wrong for FYC at the moment. Um, we have Prophet actually TPing top to help push this tower. Uh, they want to force uh, FYC out of the lane to uh, make the Luna go farm somewhere else. Um, Fortify going up. Problem is they can't really defend the push. Mm. And with this ring of basilisk up on this nature's prophet, these creeps they're not dying anytime soon. Illuminate's gonna come flying through. The first illuminate not to hit a hero, but it does clean up that creep wave, which is all they want. They get the tower denied. Disruption comes out, but Alchemist is gonna walk on out of there. He's got there his was, chemical range up very shortly, so he's there was actually no a chance. loosened beam um, onto one of the treants instead of the alchemist. <laughs> That poor, poor Luna. Safina, she's not having... Oh, he's not having the best of games at the moment. And we hear the uh, chemical rage and the stun come f coming in. Not going to happen. They've already backed off. So he's going to stun himself. And let's get a little bit more initiation onto Ricardo. Please, Ricardo is going to have to get out of there. He took a few auto attacks. And now the rotation from Birds, Birds. Once again, Coddle... Getting in another sneaky illuminate. Will it hit? Hits on two heroes and, and it picks off the shadow, the shadow demon. Oh. Oh, poor Desu shadow demon. cat, please. Calm down, Coddle. Calm down. <laughs> that could you not be happy for you. Going to stun's been channeled. It hits onto the Luna. Oh, Lena. Lena gets hit. And yeah, as you said, Lena just falls easily. With the Storm Spirit, with the Haste Rune, Radiance Puck's coming uh, down bottom. Attack. But, yeah, nothing really gonna happen. I think mm. Puck just wants to help them stop dying at top. Man, this Invoker played quite well, TP'd out, comes, comes back into the lane up against Anabos, and he's still got a higher XP and gold income than Anabos, who's just been free farming down bottom. Hasn't been doing too much. Up the top lane, we do have an initiation. We have the orb come flying through. We'll pick off that Coddle, and now Alchemist, he's on the run. He's going to be out of there. Phase Bruce and Chemical Rage. No one can catch him. But now Jakira's coming in. They might think about turning this back around. Jakira with his god-like ice pass this game, they might be able to find a turnaround kill. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> the ice path from the heavens. <laughs> uh, but even if the FYC did decide to chase onto that um, alchemist, he did have his ult. And we actually have Storm Spirit at bottom killing Invoker. And this is just very nice rotation coming up, birds, birds. I mean, they're winning one lane. You get Storm Spirit, rotate into another lane, find off another kill on a hero that's been sitting there the entire game. Not really been contributing to the team. I mean, throwing out Sunstrikes here and there, but the Sunstrikes haven't landed. And in the meantime, the Nature's Prophet's TP'd out to help out his team. Maybe you should try and TP out. You've got a Cold Snap that can help you find kills, even defensively to save you some kills. However, he's been sitting down here. His farm isn't looking the best. I mean, he's sitting fifth on the net worth charts, so it's not great by any means for having complete free farm compared to these other heroes. We actually have Luna higher up on the net worth, uh, meaning Invoker hasn't quite done as well as uh, one would hope down in the uh, safe lane, but can't be helped. Mm. 
Well, I can. Radiance but bottom tower is under I mean. attack. Yeah, it's just it's been a little it's been hard for your cars at the moment. Birds, birds, they've just been playing really nice. They won this trial lane, and then and also Storm Shirt won this mid lane. A little bit coming through. We have the zipping from the Storm Shirt. Throws out that remnant. Will nice defensive disruption. They might save the Shadow Demon. A few more auto attacks. No, the Nation's Prophet Alt. He's TPing in as well. He might get the sprout off onto the Luna. Not going to be happening. He's going to sprout it up onto Anabus. Anabus throws out the uh, Sunstrike. Not going to hit, and they're not going to find a kill onto that Nature's Prophet. And meanwhile, whilst this is happening, Alchemist and Shakira have just been having a go at this tier 2 at top. Alchemist has just picked Radiance up his Shadow Blade. So, going to be looking for much stronger ganks. And Medallion of Courage picked up for the Prophet. So, a lot of damage coming out from Alchemist and Prophet now. I think Invoker's going to be pushing it here. If he tries to come in without his team, he might find himself dead. You have the godlike Shakira. Is he going to get the Cold Snap off? He didn't pull off the Cold Snap yet. Radiant he needs to get it off. He's just out of range. There we go. Cold Snap 1, 2, Three. Can they find the kill onto Illusion Jesus? And they will pick him off. Prophet's TPing in. They're going to want to try and turn this around. Nice Sprout With coming sprout out. Sprout on the Luna. Medallion goes up. Alchemist coming in, but Shadow Blade concoction. With me. Coming in, but I don't. He's going to go on the Lena. But out of position, Lena. And they will uh, find another kill. So that's three for eleven. Another turnaround kill, and this could possibly be a tower. Zip come flying through lens with the Shadow Demon, and. They're trying to do some damage, there's Cold Snap being a little pain, Puck comes in, gets a silence, gets a kill, throws out that, what's it called, Dream Coil, finds off a kill there, now they turn around to the Alchemist, a buyback coming from that Nature's Prophet, he'll be TPing back in very shortly, here he comes, he's back, nice oh, path landing onto path. two, and he'll find a kill onto the Lunar, now onto the Invoker, and this, two kills, and now a tower is coming very shortly. They've got a stun beam channel. They might find a nice light shark away. Will he be able to find that kill? No, he doesn't get stunned. Nature's Prophet's Wrath of Nature come flying through. He finds the sprout up onto Lizzie. Lizzie doesn't, did not jump to his orb, so he's in a little trouble. Disruption defensive coming out. Saving his buck. Another fantastic Another ice path. Another double ice path by Jesus. <laughs> These ice paths have just been amazing. They have been, like... Desuka landed every single Illumina in the game. Jesus, not missing a single Ice Puff when needed the most. These two supports, these are absolute. These are supports from God. He's, he's the Jesus of Jakira. These are your angels on in this game at the moment. Love to have them on your side. FYC, really gonna have to start trying to pull something out of the bag here. We got Coddle keeping the lanes pushed away from the tier ones. We have Storm Spirit initiating onto the puck and killing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just all casually, it's like, oh, he just killed him. It's, it's okay. <laughs> we pretty much just have birds, birds looking for free kills anywhere they can find them, and they seem to be getting them all the time. We're gonna have Storm Spirit nearly <laughs> picks up the kill by the ice bar. <laughs> Once again, a double ice puff, and as you said, they're just picking up kills everywhere. Casually, just picking up these kills. Shadow Demon might time, get out of here. Array by the Lena. Doesn't really matter because disruption lasted long enough. But a lot of misplays coming from FYC now. Yeah, and you're, you're Bird's absolutely Bird's correct. They're, they're just dominating all over the map. They're just casually picking up. Like that Storm Spirit, he had balls to the walls. They, they didn't really have vision on that tower or where they were currently, and he's just walking up the top. Luna, she walks off the cliff, just dies. And the Storm Spirit acts like nothing happens, and then moves on to the next hero. And speaking of Storm Spirit, he now has his Orchid Malevolence. So the next target he jumps on, that's pretty much guaranteed death. And this Orchid's going to hurt everyone on the side of Folio Cars. They all rely on their spells quite heavily. You have that we have puck. puck. getting out of position here. We've got an Ice Path and a Storm Spirit flying in. And speaking of that puck relying on spells, yeah, there we go. Comes out of position and just gets picked off easily by that Storm Spirit. We actually had uh, the Storm Spirit and the Jakira just sitting there in the in the jungle waiting for someone to come, and eventually the puck fell for it and went straight in. <sighs> puck, puck, puck. So yeah, this heavy pushing style coming out from For Your Colors, oh, not For Your Colors, by Birds Birds, it's shown. It's been really extremely strong. They won the early game, and that's when their snowballing pushing style could just take over. Start getting these towers down. And, and now go they're gonna rush. Yeah, now they're gonna grab a rush. For your cause, they will wanna try and challenge us. They're rotating in. They're throwing out the sunshine. They know something's gone on. They're not gonna get there in time though. It's gonna be a very very strong kill. 
Oh. We actually have Storm Spear picking up the Aegis, which actually makes sense because Alchemist doesn't have space, but still didn't sell the Iron Rage. And yeah, look at all that damage come flying through. You had the Ice Puff once again, landed on two, maybe three heroes, stunned and from GG. the Alchemist. GG. And yeah. Great game there's, coming there's out by Birds Birds. So Birds Birds will retain their 8th position on the Cyber Gamer time. ladder. Unfortunately for 4 year colors they will not be jumping into the top 10 in this match. Maybe next time, unless they get challenged and they have to be on Radiant's their defensive. So, might see 4 year we colors in before. a little bit earlier. Or yeah, later as on. as we were saying before, like they've shown improvement, but I think to get into the top 10 going to need a little bit more improvement. Yeah. Uh, just a couple of mis- well, not a couple, quite a few misplays this game and just really getting out was the yeah, problem. Yeah, it comes down to quite a lot of- they need to pick up- they need to work on their individual skill actually, I should say. I mean, you had your Puck. Puck lost against the Storm Spirit and he, even at the start, I don't know quite how. I mean, Puck's got your phase shift and your orb to get away from a Storm Spirit who didn't have a zip and found the first blood on you. A few times though, for your colors did get a little bit unlucky with fantastic ice pass coming out by Mr. Jesus and followed up by the Illuminates from uh, from the Desu Cat. They played fantastic at top lane, which basically shut down all aggression from for your colors in their tri lane, and that just made life harder for them. And then the Invoker and a boss down in bottom lane uh, was not doing too bad, but just sat down there the entire time, and his farm itself wasn't worth the time if he came in tried to TP in a few of these fights he, they could have found turnaround kills and maybe even taken control a bit earlier in this match and then their aggressive lineup could have taken over but things just didn't fall into place for for your colors they didn't they just couldn't find the openings and they just got taken advantage of from birds birds I would have to say man of the match I'm tossing up between Keeper of the Light and Shakira because both of them played amazing, but I think I'm going to have to give it to Keeper of the Light simply because he has two more kills than the Shakira does. Um, <laughs> the, the early Illuminates really forced FYC uh, to use a lot of their regen, allowing for when the Chakra Magic came up, when the stun was leveled up and the Acid Spray was leveled up, was allowing them to get a lot more lane control and allow them to push further and go more aggressive uh, against FYC. Mm. And I think that's how the snowball started. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, well, that was a good game. I think we can just make the next one. <laughs> it starts in 10 minutes. Onwards so to glory and victory. We won't say goodbye just yet. Um, yeah, we'll see you in, in a few minutes.